So, you're trying to decide which Bluetooth controller from 8-Bit Do you should buy. Well, here's a quick and easy guide to show you all the differences in the SN30 Pro and the SN30 Pro Plus Edition so you can decide what's best for you. The most obvious difference is the Plus Edition's PS4-esque grips. They feel almost exactly the same in length and width and provide a comfortable hold. This equates to a heavier, more modern feel in the hands. At the same time, the Plus feels slightly heavier and significantly wider. I personally have tiny hands, and while I'm very relaxed holding the Plus, I find I have to shift my grip to reach buttons closer to the controller's center. That makes games that require the X and Y buttons harder to play for those with small hands. The A, B, X, Y face buttons are also both concave and convex, similar to the Super Nintendo layout. The best part of the Plus is its analog triggers. They're long travel with a lighter spring than a PS4 or Xbox controller. They're also wider and curved to fit your fingers. The other main benefit is the battery, 1000 ma to the Pro's 480 ma. If that's not enough, you can always remove the battery pack on the Pro and supplement two AA batteries to keep the party going. I will mention the Pro has digital mapping software available on 8 website, similar to the Xbox Elite controller. The SN30 Pro has this feature, but with a caveat I'll mention later. The Pro is technically a downgrade from the Plus, but there's still reasons to pick one up. To start, it's obviously smaller and lighter than the Pro. You'd think without the grips, there would be nowhere to place your ring and pinky fingers on the rear of the controller. But for my tiny hands, they actually rest along the analog stick's rear pads. It works nice as a finger stop and creates a comfortable grip. I consider the A, B, X, Y buttons to be an upgrade from the Plus. They're larger and actually flat on top, almost reminiscent of a PS1's face buttons. If you've ever used a Nvidia Shield Portable, they're practically duplicate buttons. You do sacrifice with triggers on the Pro, losing the analog pull and switching to a digital on-off trigger button. The shoulder buttons are also closer to the triggers and less spaced out from each other. Both triggers and shoulder buttons are smaller altogether, but they still nailed the trigger curve to fit your fingers when resting. Even though the battery is smaller here, the website only lists two hours of less gameplay time than the Pro, while netting you two hours less to charge from 0 to 100%. The real cost is a non-removable battery pack, so while you're stuck waiting for a charge, it's still faster than the Pro's charge without batteries. Remember that mapping software caveat? Well, the Pro model does have it, but only if you get the Xbox-branded Android Edition. This edition strips away most connectivity and is meant almost solely for Android gaming. What we have here is the standard Pro model, so you will have to sacrifice if you want the Pro model to have mapping software access. Those are all the main differences from the SN30 Pro to the SN30 Pro Plus. I would recommend the Pro model for those looking for a retro compact, nostalgic, and slightly shorter gameplay session. Anyone playing modern games with high trigger usage, those with bigger hands, or who expect to utilize the removable batteries should buy the Pro Plus. I hope that helps you decide which controller works for you. If you like this video, let me know in the comments and give me any recommendations for similar videos. Thanks for watching.